exciting, so exciting because uh, I've been thinking a lot of times in that opportunity and now when you dress up for the first time in, in leathers, it's, you see it real and uh, the excitement is super high, it's on the clouds. For me, it's important uh, to be calm, to have you know everything more or less under control. I know in this motorsport world to have everything under control is uh, close to impossible. But uh, I, I like to have it as much as control as possible, and my life, especially my private life, in a in a calm mode like that. I can be super focused on my job, and it's uh, the, the way where I perform better. Actually, I cannot answer this question yet because I don't know what to expect about this new season. Uh, first of all, because we saw the past seasons uh, super tricky because of the COVID situation. We don't know exactly where we need to race, how many times we need to race there. And uh, after, because the bike is new, I'm, I'm not going to have a lot of days of testing. So it's going to be it's going to be hard the beginning of the year. But yeah, I'm I'm really focused on on doing uh, achieving my my dreams here. Yeah, the first time I saw Mark, it was in the very, very, very uh, young categories. It was with, uh, with the Conti. It was the first time I think he was jumping on the, on the road bike. It was more or less the first time I was jumping too, but I was a little bit older, so I had a little bit more experience than him. But yeah, we were very, very, very small, and, and I really remember that with, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was great moments where uh, you just enjoy it. And then I have enjoyed with Mark uh, great, great battles, especially Moto2, one in Estoril where I've lost the battle. I finished second, but I really, I really enjoyed that one. Well, 100%, if Mark is able to start in Qatar, he's going to be the one uh, to beat. He's the the number one, even if he's not been uh, racing last year, uh, sure it's going to be the tougher guy to, to beat and the fastest guy on the grid. He's been like that in the past a lot of years and for me and for the whole MotoGP category. So, yeah, we will see, but uh, for sure we cannot forget about the Suzuki, the Ducati, the young guys that are on, on that bikes with a lot of talent. It's going to be an interesting season, but also a tricky one.